Hey there, Striking Ghosts. That's the name I go under. My actual name is Davis, but I record under the name Striking Ghosts. I have a bunch of albums, EPs, singles on streaming services and uh, on places such as Spotify. So if you want to check out these songs and their studio versions, you totally are welcome to. I'm playing them as acoustic versions, sometimes on my regular six string guitar, sometimes on this beautiful six string, 12 string guitar, this, this beautiful beast. So I'm gonna play the second single. I'm gonna start this session off with the second single from my debut album, Thank God For Your Mother. It's called Slow Down. And it was about living the fast paced life that one has to when you're trying to hustle out here in Los Angeles, you're trying to maintain, you know, a steady income, work some kind of job, but, you know, run out and being an actor at the time, running out, doing auditions, you know, trying to stay in shape, it's just, you know, trying to juggle so much. And it just, it's like, and so I wrote this song called Slow Down about that, that kind of lifestyle. So here we go.
Yeah, slow down. Uh, really like playing that song. I usually open uh, with that song um, when I do a live show. Um, I think it's a good, good song to start out the set with. Uh, the next song uh, that I'm going to play is going to be from the um, the New York EP. Lucky for my capo. Um, I wrote a bunch of songs when I was in New York. Wrote about six songs, um, and I decided to release them as an EP. And I I tell you, anytime I play them, I think about my trip to New York and what a <sighs> fabulous, fantastic city. Um, and this this song is is kind of about anytime I personally take a trip and this trip is winding down you're there you got three two days one more day and these are the, these are the thoughts that come to mind and I, I I was having you know enjoying New York so much this song came out of that and then it applies to anytime I travel it, yeah it, it really does apply to anytime I travel so I'm going to play this on the sixth string here, and it's called Let's Stay. Going back home is so boring. Having to go to work Monday morning. I'm back at food and snacks and wash your clothes. Having to sort through what we bought and all the photos. You know, we still have fun. No time to see more fun. Just move things around here and there a little bit and we'll extend our trip. Let's stay for just another day. Down. I think we need one more night on the town. Who could ever debate with coming back just one day late? There's still some stuff on my list we need to visit that we missed. Let's stay for just another day. vacations travel fast let's stay for just another day there's still so much to see and do out of door to explore some more with you let's stay for just another day there's still so much to see and do out of door That's Let's Stay. That's off the NYEP, as it's called, New York EP. So I do enjoy playing that. Um, I can't wait to play that live. I don't think I've had a chance to do that at a venue. Okay, next up is 
Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was trying to think. What's up next? Um, life in quarantine is up next. Yes, life in quarantine. Um, you can guess when I wrote this one. Actually, I wrote, you might have heard the story if you've watched any of these episodes before. I wrote a bunch of songs. <sighs> During the start of the whole crisis that we had globally, it's so weird to say that. I was going to say nationally or something, but no, it's globally. Um, so uh, may, I'll make this quick. I wrote an EP of songs. Thought, good, got it out of my system. Nope, I had more to say. So I wrote an EP. I wrote e Epidemic the sep Second Wave. Epidemic and then Epidemic the Second Wave. Then I felt I had more to say, and I wrote Epidemic Three Finger Salute. So there's three EPs. It's the, it's the Epidemic Trilogy. Then after that, we had the whole thing that the vaccine came out and there was a whole brouhaha about that. So I felt I have something to say about that too. So I wrote Epidemic for Crying Out Loud. So it's not a trilogy, it's a trilogy plus a, an additional four songs. So it's, it's, uh, oh man, it, <laughs> sometimes when I play some of those songs, it feels like I wrote songs for a soundtrack for a movie about what really happened so um kind of feels like that when i play this because it it seems unreal but i'm so glad i wrote those songs because you know you think of the you think of the meaning of what an album is when a, when an artist releases an album and you kind of think about the other albums there's like photo albums and what are they they're they're books or they used to be they're all photos are all on your phone nowadays but albums are these these books that capture certain points in time, personal points, most of the time. And they're collected there to look back on and smile or revisit or maybe motivate someone for some future endeavor or something. And so that's what's great about making albums is it captures a certain moment in time, a lot of times for an artist. And I felt that the epidemic Though it's not really an album, it's like four EPs, it captured that moment in time. This is Life in Quarantine. What will life be like after this? Will potential couples still hold hands and kiss? What if they out when a second wave hits? Will people stay docile? Over Looking at everyone as if anyone could make a scene. La, 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 la. Quarantine waiting on a vaccine. It's the year 2020, 20, COVID 19. Face covering, social distancing. What's gonna happen when the numbers go down? Will people be mortified to go out? Move around. Can I return safely to my old haunts? How will we feel comfortable again in a restaurant? When the day comes when it reinfects the news, like Pavlov's dog will know exactly what to do. Stay away, stay apart, stay at home just like we did. Guided by those boots, no more than the kids. La 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 la, life in quarantine. Hearing of a capsule chloroquine with a class of 20, 20, 20, COVID 19. And then sand washing and sanitizing. Those can't wait. Quarantine. 
every day with no set routine. Oh, Kentucky says, spend a little land till then. We're in this together. But there's no guarantee, as far as I can see, that this one lasts forever. La 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 In quarantine, hearing of hydroxychloroquine, where the class of 2020, 20 COVID 19, and the sand washing and sanitizing. Life in quarantine, boy, that, <laughs> uh, it's almost feels unreal. And then when I sing about it, I, I think, wow, could that happen again? Because right now as I'm, you know, doing this, we're in the middle of this uh, news about monkeypox. So you never know. So, um, okay, so let's go on to the next song. I can't wait to play this one uh, live somewhere. Um, when I played it before, and sometimes when I get the opportunity, as I did when I last played a residency, I like to bring the guitar. I never brought this. I don't think I ever brought this one. But I bring the guitar, and I like to bring other instruments. Usually the other instrument will be a, a synthesizer, a keyboard. So I play some of my electronic songs. And I like playing this one from my second official album, Realia. It's called Stayed. And I usually don't play it acoustically, but sometime during the whole pandemic thing, I realized I'd love to, you know, try to play this live and I'd love to play it acoustically, you know, cause you never know when you can plug in a keyboard or bring a keyboard or a synthesizer. So, oh, I don't need this. Um, so I do enjoy playing this song um, and I'm gonna play it on the 12 string. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a relationship song. <laughs> Hopefully, if you're watching and you listen, you can relate.
on that stage. It sounds very different from the electronic version, which is on the album Realia, which you can find on Spotify and other music streaming services. So uh, there's one more song. No, I think there's... <laughs> I'm losing track of myself here. What's what is going on here? Um, uh, I'm trying to think what I'm supposed to be playing next. Um, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to play next. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm going to play. I kind of messed up a little bit, but that's okay. Hey, you're just you're still watching. It's a free show. Uh, okay, so I'm going to actually play two more tunes. Two more. Yes, indeed. I'm going to play Stuck at the Bottom. I do enjoy playing this song live. It is from my compilation album, which came after Thank God for Your Mother. It was a song I wrote during Thank God for Your Mother, but I didn't think it fit the theme of that album, but I liked it so much that I held on to it and put on a compilation. Yeah, now it's making sense. I'm like looking going, wait, did I play? Do I have one more song? No, I got two more songs, and this is one of them. Um, so this song, um, yeah, it's about, um, <laughs> well, you can interpret it however you'd like.
that stuck at the bottom. And then the last song is supposed to be this. It's supposed to be Carry Me, which um, I didn't release as a single, but it, there's a remix on the Octagon compilation that I found to be fun, especially when I look back and go, I haven't remixed too many of my songs, but it, it can be a fun, fun thing to do. And I did at the time, I did a remix of Carry Me just to have a dance remix. But it's the last song on uh, Thank God for Your Mother, the debut album that I released uh, some time ago. And um, the outro of the song is Thank God for Your Mother, which is where I got the album title from. Um, why did I name the album Thank God for Your Mother? Um, it, you know, it, like you, you praise somebody for being, being in your life and you're so grateful. And the reason that that person is here is because of his or her mother. Now, that doesn't mean, I don't wanna to get too complicated with the answer, but it means that if it weren't for women giving birth to humans, we wouldn't be here. I'm a big, big believer in women's rights that women should be able to do what they want. I believe this should be for a separate video. I believe there's been a huge conspiracy over many years to subjugate women, to make them think they are inferior. That's why they get less pay. That's why they have to, you know, cover themselves up in, in clothing and, and, and pass it off as some religious doctrine. I think there's been a lot of that for, I, I want to say thousands of years and perpetrated by men so that they could have the upper hand. But what they fail to realize is, yes, of course, we need men to, you know, make make humans too. But if women did not give birth, if if the the if the the, the human whatever embryo wasn't incubating inside a woman we would not be here. So that was the, the concept of the, of the album title. Thank God for your mother. Thank, thank God you are here on this earth. Thank God you were born, you know? So thank God for your mother. So I just like the title. <laughs> I probably have all this stuff think, you know, giving it deeper meaning as I've gotten older and things have happened in our society, but I like the title. I thought it was a good title for my, debut album I wasn't big on calling it striking ghosts that's the name of the band that's the name of my project I'm not gonna call I don't want an eponymous debut album I didn't want that anyway I, gosh I would love to just talk 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 like this during a show and just give explanations and who knows field questions I don't know anyway this is Karen Me. Hey! 
carry me, carry me, and can't believe I see you in my dreams, carry me, carry me, up streets so full of crime, can't them is deep the crime, carry me, carry me, and can't Carry me. And that's Carry Me. Uh, boy, I do miss playing that live. It's a lot of fun. Usually, I used to end my shows with that song. Uh, some of my shows. Maybe the first part of the show. Anyway, I used to play it, and it was fun. So hopefully I'll be playing live again. But until then, I do like doing these YouTube videos for my channel. And if you're still watching, thanks a lot for listening to my songs and my experiences, you know, seeing things through my mixed lens, if you will. Um, I think that's going to definitely shape, um, shape the way I write. Um, so um, it's a lot of fun to play. <laughs> and if I could see you live, it would be even better. Anyway, you can find my music. I don't list it under Davis or E Davis. It's under striking ghosts. It's online. 
you can listen to the studio versions uh, of all of the songs that I'm playing. Um, they're there. And uh, if you'd like, you can visit my website, strikingghost.com. You can write me an email, you know, whatever questions, whatever, you know, I'm game. So um, like I started to say at the end of my videos, whatever you can do to be creative in your own way, be creative. Be creative. Let your creativity thrive. Find time in your day to stay not only physically healthy, but mentally healthy. Mentally healthy might be reading a book, uh, but it's also about being creative. Creative, being creative can also, you know, obviously include physicality as well. But um, a lot, I think, but my personal opinion, a lot of it comes from your mind. So please stay healthy mentally, stay healthy physically, and stay creative. Thank you.